Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making the start of the very least on my review of Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna. So this is a thriller novel. As always, I'm going to read you the blurb. I'm going to go through and check out my tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. This is going to be more of a reading vlog style uh, review because I'm currently only on about page, well, I'm on page 48 of about 340. But we will start with the blurb. So, Dane reads, Flora lives near here. We haven't spoken in 12 years. I wonder what she looks like now. All Beth has to do is drive her son to his football match, watch him play and then drive home. But the knowledge that her former best friend lives nearby is all consuming. She can't resist. She parks opposite the house and is still there when Flora and her children return home. Except, something's not right. Twelve years ago, Thomas and Emily were five and three years old. Today, they look exactly the same. They haven't changed at all. How is this possible? Beth knows it isn't, yet she also knows what she saw and that it was real. And having seen it, how could she forget? So, let's go through and take a look at some tab tab. So, I like at the beginning, Ben is in trouble with his girlfriend, although he doesn't call her his girlfriend, but the, the girl he's seeing, because he put two X's in his last message instead of three. And his mum says, did you do it deliberately? And he says, no, I didn't even know I'd done it. Didn't think about it. And Zan, his, uh, his sister says, life is drama, little brother. Which I think is a good little quote, especially for a kid. That's some deep shit. Get some references to Twitter, which of course are out of date now that it's X. Um, and I want to read you this little paragraph. Um, for nearly a year, he called Dominic rom-com Dom after we all went to see a movie about a boy that Dom liked as much as Flora and I did, despite being a man. Eventually, Lewis professed to find this hilarious, though at first he found it implausible. On the way home from the cinema, he hounded Dom relentlessly. Really? You liked it? I mean, like, like? You actually thought it was good? I like About a Boy. The book was better, though, but I don't know if I would call it a rom-com. It's more just like a... If anything, it's a coming-of-age story about Marcus, right? Is Marcus the kid's name? I think, yeah, Marcus was the kid, Will was the adult. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it has elements of rom-com in it, but also, I mean, it has, like, suicide attempts and shit, you know? That's not very funny. Alrighty, um, we have another, just one more tab for you so far. So, with this, obviously, I am intrigued by the overall mystery of what's going on, and... I don't want to share too many spoilers, so I can't really kind of keep you updated with all of that. But what I think Hannah does pretty well is kind of captures the little human uh, interactions and um, the characterization is quite nice. So for example here, uh, Zana picks up the remote control, turns on the TV and immediately mutes it. She and Ben always do this. I've no idea why. I do that sometimes as well. It's just nice to have something on in the background. So this is a very, I don't know, manipulative behaviour, I guess. Beth is um, talking to her partner and he says, What if I say I promise never again to enter a stranger's car or touch their property without permission? Then I'll be very happy, he exhales slowly. Right, good. I haven't actually said it, I only asked what if. And we get this great little bit to and fro with her daughter. Mum, you should be careful. At this rate, Ben's going to have to get some of his baddest roadman mates to back you on ends. Back me on what? Ugh, you're so old. Never mind. And Zana, the kid who said about back in Roadman on ends. Um, we get, why shit? Zana presses all of her fingers against her forehead, then spreads them out. I'm trying not to frown so that I don't get too wrinkly when I'm older. Anti-aging moisturizer can only do so much. I've got to train myself to be surprised without scrunching up my face. Kid's like 15. And Beth has a bath and we get, um, I stand up, grab a towel and wrap it around me. I was planning to wash my hair, but the plan had a built-in loophole that I knew I wouldn't bother in the end. I hate washing my hair. It's the annoying chore that looms in the shadows at the end of every nice long bath, potentially ruining it. I don't like washing my hair either. I don't mind washing it. It's that I don't like my hair being wet. So, it, you know, when it's drying, it's not fun. We get this bit that's... It's almost... Uh, it almost reminds me of Airplane here. Uh, it would explain Peterborough too. What's that? A city north of Cambridge. He gives me a look. I heard Flora say Peterborough on the phone. We learn Beth. Beth says, uh, my husband only got his first job because I applied for it on his behalf, without telling him. As his wife? No, pretending to be him. Wow. I can't tell if she's impressed or repelled. I'd shown him the advert and it said, there's no way I'd get that, I'm too inexperienced. And he was right, he wouldn't have got it because he's not the sort of person who'd really sell himself in the bold way I, I could tell that their particular company wanted. It was obvious from their ad. So I wrote an application letter basically saying, I'm brilliant and you won't find better, more certainly than that. It was a great letter, if I say so myself. Witty, charming, but it made the point. I'm the best you'll get. And he got the job. And I like to think that's why Shay's got the job she works at, because I worked on her cover letter and CV for her. Although I did at least have permission. Um, and we get Beth was uh, 
invited to go and speak at the school. It was part of a series of lectures she was organising at Bankside Park, designed to inspire the older girls to become the next generation of female entrepreneurs, rather than just the proud owners of cleavages rated peng and flames on Instagram by the upper school's male population. I like it when uh, Sophie Hannah uses slang. She's probably better at it than I am, to be honest. Dom says he can do an impression of uh, Chandler from Friends. I imagine it's something along the lines of, could I be any more surprised? And we learned that when Beth's been obsessing about um, who Chimpy is, and um, it was because she heard, she heard them say, hey Chimpy, and then a few seconds later, Peterborough. But she didn't, what she said was HMP Peterborough, um, which is a prison. And I learned right at the end, which I didn't realise, that uh, Zanna is actually Sue Zanna. Zanna is just a shortened form. I quite like that, you know. And we get the big confrontation at the end, but we get the line, you're incapable of loving any human being properly, but you love the game and the power it brings you. And uh, if you play the game, you've just lost the game. You either know what that means or you don't. But if you do know what it means, it's very annoying. Um, the point behind the game is that you're always playing the game, and as soon as you think about the game, you lose the game. And it made me lose the game. So, haven't they grown by Sophie Hanna? I would probably give this, I'll give it a weak 4 out of 5. I think in my wrap up I might have given it a strong 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's somewhere around there, you know. It's a pretty damn good thriller. Um, I'm not the biggest on thrillers, but the premise of this really gripped me and kept me reading. You know, I kept enjoying it throughout. Um, it's one of the, probably the best Sophie Hanna book that I've read. Um, yeah, just good stuff. I would recommend checking it out if you liked what I've talked about. And hopefully, well I haven't, I haven't given away too many of the spoilers. I still haven't explained um, why the children hadn't aged a day as well. So yes, there we have it. That's what I made of Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.